Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Christian County, Missouri, with JC News Now as he attempts and fails to film in the local courthouse and gets rejected and ejected fairly quickly. And he says it's a violation of his rights and that the Missouri uh, Supreme Court ruled in his favor and all that. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, I read that document that you uh, talked about the other day, and it was nothing about what you're talking about. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright, I'm just here to the building. Hang on just a second, sir. I'll be right with you. Okay. Now he stands here for a while filming them. I mean, it's just such riveting content that it's a shame to fast forward through it. But let's just go ahead and do that so we can get to the good part of how fast he was booted out of here. So, roll that beautiful bean footage. Fast much too early. Prepare to fast forward. Preparing to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. <laughs> Hey, Corporal. Yeah. I thought they just yes, I did. Or I took them down for you. <laughs> yes, you were. You're okay. All right, sir. How can I help you today? I just wanted to tour the building. I'm sorry, I can allow you to videotape inside our building. Okay, I won't go in any courtrooms or the court clerk's office. Yeah. Our sheriff is on his way up to address the situation here. No, that's hey. not going to happen, sir. Why? Uh, because the judge says we're not going to film inside the buildings. Well, the Supreme Court of Missouri says only the courtrooms and court clerk's office. The last time that you quoted that particular rule, you said it was 16.04, and that's not exactly what it says. It's more about technical issues such as lighting and everything like that within the courtrooms during trials. So you need to do a little bit better when you do your damn research. So try to find the exact quote that you're uh, talking about and actually put up the proper rule set. I mean, it's called doing your due diligence in your research. And I am not going to do it for you. You need to do better and pull that shit up yourself. Okay. That's well, wrong. I just told you. We just told you that that is what our judge said, and that's what we're going to enforce. So it's not you're going gonna to You're going to enforce an unlawful order? If that's the way you want to look at it, yes. It is. That, that's the way it is. I'm just telling you what's happening. Okay. All right, I'm going to inform you it's a violation of my rights. Okay. And that I'm going to hold you accountable for that. Okay. You know, it didn't work, didn't work too well for the Nazis at Nuremberg. Okay, you're comparing the uh, Nazi trials at Nuremberg after World War II with the, the uh, fact that they're not going to let you film inside the courthouse. I mean, I don't see a very good comparison to... What they did versus security measures at a courthouse in uh, modern times. I mean, you're con essentially comparing apples to oranges, you bloody moron. Okay. All right. So I understand that. If I walk through, you're going to arrest me? Yes, sir. Okay, that's all I needed to hear. All right, what's your name and your badge number? My name's Captain LaRose, and I don't have a badge number. You don't? No. What's your name and badge number? Corporal Ballard. All right, thank you. Yours? Morris. Got a number? We don't have badge numbers. Got a call number? No. No. What about yours? 
Sir, I'm going to ask you to leave the building now and stop yes, filming. Well, can I get his badge number? No, sir. He don't have badge numbers. We explained that to you. Can I get his name? Because I'm going I'm to put can, him on now. You can go on now, sir. Thank you. Can you give me his name? Sir, you can Deputy leave can. the... I'm outside of the building. Thank you. Deputy you're, you're, Deputy you're, can. I need to let these people in, sir. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. I'm sorry. Here you are, folks. I don't want to block the egress. All right, I'm going to hold the tyrants accountable. Thank you, sir. Yeah, get back to work. Well, there you have it. Tyrants. Oh, poor little moron. You can't exactly seem to comprehend the vast valley there is between the uh, crimes against humanity that the uh, Nazis committed during World War II versus the security measures at courthouses. I mean, you don't see the difference there at all. You don't see... The uh, irony of you calling them tyrants, I mean, you don't see that if they were actually tyrants that they would have uh, actually sent you off to a gulag somewhere for even attempting this. The very fact that you are outside complaining and putting it on the internet it shows that they are not tyrants at all. They were very nice to you. And could have it could have been so much worse. But of course, you're too damn uh, stupid to figure that out anyway. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you enjoyed this guy's stupidity. And it made you laugh uh, for the day. So I will see you guys on the next one.